hi everyone in the previous session we have seen different software which are used in hotel industry now in this session we will be talking about PMS or property management system features and modules so below we have listed down or highlighted a few of the typical modules which are present in almost every property management software uh, the mainly and particularly front office module definitely it's there in every PMS software uh, to reserve to keep the data of the guest make, create reservation create check-in check-out um, integrate the billings all the guest folios history guest history uh, the revenue revenue from corporate travel agents I mean all historical and statistical data lies in front of his module then we have housekeeping module housekeeping module is mainly uh, serve the purpose for the rooms which rooms are clean which are rooms are dirty or occupied so that the front office staff knows that which if there is a new reservation so which room need to be allocated if it's an occupied room ultimately uh, that serves the purpose for housekeeping staff so they can see that okay this room is occupied so they need to clean up the room on daily basis if the room is vacant and in the dirty status then ultimately they know that okay the room is vacant now but it's dirty status this means that it's a checkout room they can go to the room clean the room and then change the status in PMS software or in housekeeping module so that front office they can release the room uh, for booking or for checking in any uh, new arrivals then we have sales and marketing module sales and marketing module mainly deals with uh, the sales team it's very useful for the sales team in sales and marketing module we define uh, company profiles so if a regular company uh, or or the uh, a contract does exist for a company so that contract and the company profile min is maintained in sales and marketing module and through this module different reports are available uh, which company or travel agent generated how much revenue how many room nights all those stuff uh, we can get from sales and marketing module or from its reports then we have banqueting module banqueting module also um, basically banqueting like where we have uh, banquet halls meeting rooms so banqueting, banqueting module uh, reserves uh, the meeting places meeting spaces how much is the rental the source uh, resources are recorded in banqueting module if a client is there then definitely uh, a sheet is maintained for an event that what kind of resources are required for event when the event is going to happen uh, who's the organizer and of course at the last billing details lastly we have AR module or accounts receivable module uh, like I said earlier that in sales and marketing modules we are recording the travel agents and companies and uh, definitely if there is a contract does exist between the OTA or sorry not OTA travel agent or even the OTA and uh, any corporate companies any kind of firm those profiles are maintained in sales and marketing module so what happens why we have sales and marketing module so the benefit is that once the the company profile is defined or travel agent profile is defined in sales and marketing module there is a facility which is called credit facility so for example if a corporate company uh, let's say abc does exist and they have a contracted rate with the hotel so contracted rate means that uh, normally if i'm um, owning a company if i go directly to any hotel to book 10 rooms or to book a meeting space I might, not, I might not get that best rate best available rate uh, but if I'm a contract with uh, the hotel then first of all I will get predefined rates definitely based on my uh, business which I'm giving to the hotel so hotel can or even I can negotiate the rates with the hotel so once that contract exists in place then the second benefit I can get credit facility so for example if I'm having an event on 1st of uh, December so if I'm, a, I'm having a credit facility which means 
the event can go on smoothly and I can pay within 30 days or 60 days whatever depending on the contract with the hotel so all those payments are recorded in accounts receivable module let's go ahead further okay miss now we will start with mr john the guest intends to visit the city and plans to book a room in hotel alpha so what will be the communication process so here we are talking about particularly a pms or front office module to book a room in hotel alpha there are multiple ways directly call hotel and book a room over telephone this is very easy and convenient way but this way used to be popular before uh, the boom of internet but anyways still if a guest knows the hotel he has stayed earlier also or if a friend has referred the hotel to somebody else so he calls the hotel directly uh, the benefit in calling directly a hotel is that you can get best rate you can negotiate a rate so depending on the occupancy sometimes uh, even on the web or internet on the or on the website of the hotel you will find the predefined rates but if you call a hotel and if occupancy is low or if let's say uh, if you call in the evening so evening normally uh, guest does not book so but if you need a room urgently in the in the evening you can call directly to the hotel and uh, you can get better rates so this is option one what happens hotel reception or reservation department receives the call and books a room by creating reservation in pms system this is a very straightforward way no complexities okay the second option is book a room from hotel's website now this is another advantage uh, you may ask why we need to book a room through hotel's website but the thing is that on the hotel website you can because definitely every hotel nowadays every even every company the service catalog does exist on the hotel website service catalog means what kind of rooms they are offering what kind of packages they are offering so uh, by having look at pictures at least not 100 percent but at least you can say 50 to 70 percent you can get the image of the hotel how does it look like where it is located nearby attractions uh, the locality so all the transportation details of facilities which are there inside the hotel so all these details are there on the hotel website so then you can ultimately compare with other hotels as well how does it work now mr john created a reservation on hotel's website and this reservation then comes down into pms which is linked with the hotel website uh, sometimes in certain cases some of the pms or, or depends on the hotel management they don't have interface with the pms system so the reservation will come by fax or by email to them and then the hotel reservation staff they create a reservation into pms system or front front office module or reservation module then they revert back to the client or back to the guest with his email id and everything and then the guest receives or mr john receives the confirmation that okay this is the room this is the rate check-in date arrival date or departure date and all the details if airport or uh, airport pickup is required and any any other thing now book a room from online travel agent online travel agent what is online travel agent now in the market you have seen uh, different travel agencies are there in the market so if you go to uh, travel agency XYZ physically visit a travel agent so what they will do they will search online with their facilities which hotels are available let's say you say that okay I want to book a room in London on uh, December 3rd so they will log into the system and if they have any contracts with the hotels in London they can check online okay or they will maybe they will check their uh, the hotel's website and, and uh, without knowing you they will create a reservation on behalf of travel agency online travel agency so uh, 
the difference between online travel agent and travel agent which is, which is physically uh, exist on in your city the difference is that online travel agent is a kind of website which is providing facility to the customers so the customers can choose which hotel to book area wise region wise price wise such as booking.com uh, gta.com or caliber travels so all these are online travel agents booking.com does not exist as a normal uh, legacy travel agent which are having offices in particular location in the city and then you go physically the online travel agent is a website which is linked with different hotels they are displaying the options different hotels and ultimately just can compare the hotels facilities rates also the locality all these preferences which guests want to have so what happens when you visit a website such as booking.com so first of all mr john he looks at the website booking.com chooses the hotel and creates a reservation now what happens then once you create a reservation through online travel agent or on booking.com once mr john creates a booking.com uh, reservation so basically he is not directly creating a reservation or doing the reservation process directly with the hotel what he is doing he is making a reservation on booking.com after that once the reservation is created then booking.com now will communicate with the hotel booking.com or agoda.com or hotelbets.com any any OTA the next step of communication is that if the OTA or online travel agent or booking.com hotelbets.com any other OTA if they are having the contract with the hotel so what they will do definitely they will be having a contract that's why the hotel information is displayed on their website so the next step is that booking.com or OTA will now pass this reservation details to the hotel there are multiple ways how to pass the reservation details to the hotel it may be through fax if they have if the hotel is having interface uh, their PMS interface with the OTA then automatically the booking will come down into uh, the PMS system or they can send via email uh, the third thing is that OTA is also having two kind of interfaces one is for the guest so that interface is for the public where the guest can go they can book a room another interface or console you can say is provided to the hotels so hotel logs into the booking.com console and they see that okay this booking is there so which lie which is lying on the booking.com and then they prints or creates or directly creates booking into their pms or front office module with that they send a confirmation to on the console that yes booking Okay, so we were talking about the option third. So through ATA, booking comes down and the reservation is created. And let's talk about option four. Call a travel agent and book a room. Now booking.com have options or other travel agents they are also having options. Call a travel agent. And then travel agent sends a booking via fax email to hotel or if the hotel access to OTA website then booking appears on OTA website and reservation department creates reservation in PLS. Second option if the hotel has PMS interface with OTA website then the reservation comes down to PMS automatically. So these are different options which are available to book a room in a hotel. Once the room is booked, the guest will receive a confirmation email from the hotel. Uh, that's another part that the booking is guaranteed or non-guaranteed. Guaranteed means that uh, if you have booked a hotel, booked a room in a hotel over the website, 
either on hotel website or on the OTA website or by visiting a travel agent or by calling a travel agent. So guaranteed means that you are providing your uh, credit card details or account details and instantly uh, you have paid the money. So that's a reserv guaranteed reservation. Uh, res sorry, guaranteed reservation. Or uh, if you have provided your credit card details on the booking while creating a booking or creating a reservation on the hotel website or OTA website, so your credit card number goes to the hotel. Then hotel verifies the credit card that if the credit card uh, is authenticated or not. They just verify actually the details. So once the details are verified, so then you can have guaranteed uh, booking or even sometimes on the hotel website or OTA website, you will see two options, guaranteed and non-guaranteed. Guaranteed means that even if you don't visit the hotel during your stay, but still you need to pay the money because that was a guaranteed booking. Non-guaranteed means you can put any credit card even if it is not authorized uh, from the hotel that okay or verified from the hotel side that the credit card is valid or invalid so uh, non guaranteed means that even you can cancel your booking before the arrival date as well depending on the terms and conditions which are given on the website let's go further a step ahead okay front office module typical software modules on right hand side you will see all these modules are mentioned which we have seen earlier screen <coughs> now front office module allow users to create reservation check in and check out the guest and post charges as well so front office module basically is gathering the charges from telephone system from internet system from point of sale system which is there in the restaurants all these charges are coming down to front office module and uh, goes to the uh, guest account which is in general terms in hospitality industry that's called folio and of course front office or front office staff or reception staff they can directly post manually uh, they also they can post the charges front office module has a file where all the guest bills for current stay and record for previous days are stored in terms of pfs pms that file is called folio as i have just said okay while creating the reservation front office module gives an option to record the guest data as an individual travel agent or corporate guest individual means that if i'm if uh, i have a room booked through my company and my company is, is having a contract with the hotel or even in the absence of the contract so the company my my, my company staff calls a hotel they uh, books uh, a room for me in that hotel now the company information is gone to the hotel so once the hotel staff they will create a reservation they will select the profile as corporate guest because corporate get guest means that if my company is sending different uh, individuals to that hotel in different timings so that hotel can track my company's record that how much business i'm giving to them and based on that business I can also ask or my company can also ask a particular discount or a kind of special promotion for my company or the hotel offers a kind of promotion to the corporate guest or to the corporate or to the company itself that okay if you are uh, if you're sending uh, let's say or booking 10 rooms in a month uh, per month in a year then we are giving you this special discount or special rates Travel agent or corporate guest means that the hotel is having signed contract with the travel agent or company for a certain period and agreed rates in advance so that once the guest from any travel agent or company comes to stay in the hotel, then those predefined rates are applied. This is very simple scenario that okay, a corporate or company is having contract with the hotel. Predefined rates are there, no need to negotiate the rate. The company knows the rate, the hotel knows the rate. In this case, uh, normally what's happening in the companies and they are not showing the rates uh, to the guest if i'm going there i don't know what is the night room night because i may book a room later on not on the company behalf but on my personal behalf so that's why company 
companies are asking to the hotels that do not show the rate per night to the guest or to the individuals we are sending to you. The company travel agent profile is created in season marketing module which keeps the record of the production revenue generated by affiliated companies or travel agents and those companies or travel agents are linked with sales team members. Sales team members uh, this the last phase are linked with the sales team members is then if order is having sales team and any sales individual is going to the market uh, meeting different uh, companies so once they bring the business so that company profile is, is associated with that sales team member and ultimately as earlier we have seen that the sales and marketing module shows us the statistics about the corporate or the company in the same way the sales and marketing module shows the production of a sales team member as well credit facility is another option which does exist in pms and gives and is given to the corporate clients for travel